Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So tonight we're going to be having a look at this awesome reflex sight from Fiaci. And of course before getting started I just want to thank the good folks out of Fiaci for sending me the RS28 to review. Let's begin the video with who should be purchasing the RS28. This is an entry level reflex sight. What I love about these at this price point is you get the ability, if you've never used a reflex sight, to number one, figure out if you want to use one or not. Because if you have astigmatism, this is not going to look good. It's going to look very blurry. And that would force you to wear glasses. And if you don't want to do that, you got to get a prism sight, not a reflex sight. So first of all, it gives you the opportunity to decide even if you want one or not for a reasonable price. Second of all, it also gives you the opportunity to decide what color you want, if you want red or green. Some people are going to prefer green more, some people are going to want red. Also, the choice of multiple reticles. You can see which one fits your eye better. So when you do want to step up to, let's say, an EOTech or an Aimpoint or a Vortex or a Holosun, you're going to have a better understanding for your likes and dislikes. Here's what you get in the box. You get the RS-28 sight itself. One branded lens cleaning cloth. You get two CR2032 batteries. There's this one and the one that's pre-installed. Of course, you get the lens hood. A couple of Allen wrenches to do your adjustments. And of course, a user manual. All right, just how big is the RS28? Let's take some quick measurements here. So from the edge of the rail here to right about there, that looks like about three and a quarter inches. Let me turn this on the side here. So from the top of the lens, to the bottom of this rail, I would say just about two and a quarter inches. And let's go this way. Yeah, that way, just about an inch and a quarter across that way. And just to give you some size references, lengthwise, it's just about the same length as two golf balls. And as we can see here, just about a golf ball and a half high. Let's get you a weight reference, RS-28 coming in at, oh, just about 3.9 ounces. And that's just a little bit heavier than a full deck of cards. Let's take a tour around the RS-28 starting with the back here. So we have your reticle selector. There's four reticles to choose from, and we're going to have a look at them in just a second. But it's very important here that you feel that there's a distinctive click to settle each of these reticles in. A lot of the other brands out there, the reticle selector back here is very mushy, but here there's a distinct click. And of course, you're just gonna line up whatever reticle you want with this dot. Another feature that I think a lot of people miss and a lot of other reflex sites don't have are these lines here on the emitter housing. And what that's gonna help you do is line up your reticle with maybe your front sight if you're trying to co-witness. So it's nice to have that option on this reflex site. Let's have a look at the top here where we have your elevation adjustment screw here and it's clearly marked to screw to the right to make it go higher. Sometimes a lot of companies don't put what direction to turn it and you forget what direction you got to turn it in. So here's your elevation adjustment and on the other side you have your windage to go left and right. And on the other side here we have your two screws to tighten this down to your Picatinny rail. And just in case you're wondering about the adjustments, every click is one MOA. So if you're backed up to 100 yards, one click would be about one inch. If you're at 50 yards, it would be about a half an inch per click. Also on the top, you have your battery compartment, housing your CR2032 battery. I remember back in the day, they used to put the battery on the bottom and you would have to take the whole site off and then re-zero. But now it's on the top. And then, of course, you have your brightness and color selection knob. Now, when it's on the R and the green, when it's lined up with this dot, that is your off position. And then to make it brighter, you're just going to go one, two, three, four, five. So this has five different brightness adjustments. And again, if you want the green, you just turn it all the way to the green. And this knob does move both ways. All right, up front, we have this massive 33 millimeter lens. This is going to enable you to see all the way through left and right. And if you're wondering how big 33 millimeters is, here is a U.S. quarter. Right, it is that big. If you're wondering about magnification, this is a 1x magnification. So what you see is what you get. There is basically no magnification on here. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a silver coating there. So we do have multi-coated lenses to help bring that glare down, to help you see your target more efficiently. 
I just want to point out a couple of things before having a look at the reticles. So the body here is made out of aviation aluminum, which gives it a nice sturdy feeling. A lot of the older models that you see floating around out there from different companies, the body's made out of plastic. So we have an aluminum body here. And if you look at the job that they did with the adhesive around the lens, it's not sloppy. There's no goo anywhere on there. All right, let's have a look at the four reticles you can choose from. So there's your basic dot. They're calling that bullseye, but I would call that circle dot, crosshair dot, and there's starburst, or I would call that circle dot crosshair. Let's have a look through the lens. All right, so here is the plan. We're going to look at the reticles and the different colors on brightness setting number four, because really, you're not going to use brightness settings one and two if you're going to be outdoors. They're just too dim. And if you can see four, you're going to be able to see five. So we're going to go green first, then red, and cycle through the reticles, starting with the dot. All right, this is what the green dot looks like on brightness setting number four. We're going to move to the circle dot. Okay. Now crosshair and dot. And then over to the last reticle. They call it starburst, but it's a circle dot crosshair. Here is the dot at brightness setting number four. Move it over to the circle dot. Right, crosshair and dot. And circle dot crosshair, or what they call starburst. All right, so what are my recommended uses for the Fiacci RS28? Definitely low recoil, low caliber firearms. So paintball guns, BB guns, airsoft guns, 22 LR, 22 Magnum. Those should be fine. If you're going to do 223, 556, 762, those don't recoil too much. But those are the calibers. When people do use them, they shoot them a lot. So you got to remember, this is an entry-level optic. If you're going to be putting it through a lot of usage on larger calibers like shotguns, you're going to shorten the life of this optic. So if you want to treat it like a disposable optic and buy a whole bunch, great. But if you want to lengthen the life of this optic, low caliber, low recoil. Once again, guys, this has been the RS-28 Reflex Sight from Fiacci. If you've never had a red dot before and you're not too sure if you're going to like it, this might be an excellent choice for you. You can choose between green and red, multiple reticles, and it's going to fit on anything with the Picatinny reel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.